Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jared. You're watching Revert to Means. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. I uh, wanted to thank everybody for watching. Just a, a, a meek moment. Got over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you to the channel for helping me grow. Um, I'm fairly new to this, so I appreciate everybody watching. Um, if you could give it a thumbs up, hit the bell notification. I'd greatly appreciate it. Website's in the uh, description below, reverttomeans.com. Let's get going. A lot of stuff in the news. wanted to bring something up to you guys. Comment below. Um, what do you think about what's being thrown around in, um, in uh, Washington, D.C. with the unrealized capital gains notion that's being thrown around? Um, I think it's absolutely bonkers and bananas. Uh, just my opinion. I don't give any advice on this channel. Just the guy speaking out loud. Um, unrealized capital gains tax. So here's what that could mean um, to you or me or anybody. This is how insane this is. So let's say you own a house, you know, as we've all known, real estate appreciates over the long term. It has its cycles. So let's say you buy a house in here in, in Southern California, it's just, you know, super compressed cycles of, of ups and downs, booms and busts. So let's say you buy a uh, property or a home in uh, Southern California for $500,000 and 10 years later, it's worth a million bucks, um, depending on what side of the cycle you're on. Um, and you don't sell it, but you, you have unreal, <laughs> this is so goofy. Um, you've unrealized you're not selling your house. Usually you'd pay taxes if you'd sold it on that half a million, but you're not selling it. You're living there. Well, Uncle Sam's thinking about coming to you and saying, no, oh, no, no, no. You owe us for that half million in equity you, you've realized, but not realized. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Comment below. I really want to know um, what you guys and gals think out there. Um, this is just this. It, you know, and you read into it, folks, this, this is just the start, um, of, of, of Uncle Sam just trying to get into, um, our pockets one way or the other pretty soon. What, in, in 50 years, or are we going to have anything le left for them to take and tax? <laughs> I don't, anywho, um, you know, want to talk about hyperinflation, folks, um, I jotted down a few notes, um from this morning before I left, I uh, just got back home. Um, oh, by the way, gold and silver had a nice bounce yesterday and then back down today. Um, interesting, but hyperinflation I want to get at, um, you know, since I started this channel back in May, folks, I, um, I've had a tag in there on every video, hyperinflation, because I've been of the belief like, Hey, this is going to get really out of control. And, and now we're seeing mainstream media and, uh, people talk about it, so um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm wrong. I'm right sometimes, but um, you you don't have to look very far. Or look in into it. You know, I don't have a PhD in economics, but you know, I do have a general business mind. Um, it's it's not that hard to see hyperinflation. This was just written on the wall. Um, if you just you know read a little bit watched a little bit, studied a little bit. It's easy. It's not easy, but you know, it, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. I'll put it that way. Um, ABC7.com out of LA, you know, this is, this is sad for our, our lovely wacky state of California, $20 billion of unemployment went out since the <clears throat> start of the health crisis. 20, I had to read this a couple times. It's not million, B, with billion, B, as in boy. $20 billion in unemployment went out to criminals. Huh? $20 billion went out to crim Unemployment checks went out to criminals. Yay. People in jail, people. What is really happening? Where... Folks, where do we live? Are we beyond the what's beyond the twilight zone? I mean, goodness gracious! 
Um, also, crime, another big problem here in California. Um, it's been surging. It has been for many, many, many years, but the health <clears throat> crisis didn't help. Um, and now, you know, you can walk into stores, and I'm sure you've all heard it. You can walk into your local grocery store, drug store, mini market, etc., um, and steal up to $950 worth, and you won't be held liable for it. I don't even think you get a misdemeanor ticket. So it's it's a sad state of affairs. And look at these drug stores. They're all closing up shop in the Bay, uh, San Francisco Bay Area, Oakland. Crime's so bad, they're losing so much money. It's a simple analogy, you know. And I know, uh, shout out to JB on his channel, Jeremiah Babe. Check out uh, Aaron at Texas Silver. Shout out there. Um, great channels, good guys to follow. You know, it's simple an analogy. You own a donut shop. You own a pizza shop. You own a shoe store. You're going to just have a free-for-all and let people come in and steal your shoes and your donuts and uh, your pizzas? I think not. You go out of business that way. You go bankrupt that way. You watch. Cities are going to be going bankrupt with all this lost tax revenue. Give it five years. Um, I don't have a crystal ball. Um, you're going to see cities like this um, go bankrupt. And it's going to be a disaster. Um, gas, also on abc7.com out of L.A. Gas prices are the highest since... 2012 in LA County. LA County, I believe, is the second largest county in the country. Comment below um, if I am misspoken on that, but I think there's a, I think it might be New York County and New York City might uh, be more populated. But yeah, gas is nuts here. It's at, right at five bucks, um, more in some spots. You can find it for a little bit less in some spots too, but um, also want to make a note before I wrap this up. Check out, I got this book, folks, about a month ago on a recommendation from George Gammon, um, great economist, investor um, I followed for a long, long, long time. Check out this book. It's by Henry Hazlitt. Um, and I don't have a link on my website, unfortunately. Um, but I do have a new link on my website, revertomeans.com, at the bottom for SD Bullion. It's where I've gotten most of my silver. I don't care where you get it from. Golden State Mint, there's Atmex, there's a lot of reputable online sources, but um, I have a link there. It's where I get it. Um, great, lowest prices, great shipping. Um, check it out. I think I make 50 cents if you buy through there. Not going to change my life, so uh, I'm not running infomercials at least. Anywho, Henry Hazlitt. Email me or comment below if, if you want me to spell that. Henry Hazlitt. His book is called Economics in One Lesson. Get it. I don't just find it. It is a sweet book. It's exactly tying into the um, the state of our country right now, um, economically. I'll I'll give it a little teaser title to how it goes, or not to how it goes, but what it entails. Um, it basically entails um, when it, when when a, when a country makes economic decisions. Um, whether let's say, you know, that's the federal reserve, the, the leaders, etc. when they make decisions that inflict damage to an economy of that said land, um, without thinking of the consequences that will come in years later. Um, think about that with all the stuff going on right now, um, in society, <clears throat> with certain things if you uh, catch my drift Henry Hazlitt Economics in One Lesson great book I think I freaking read that finished it in 3-4 days I, but I urge you to get it and The, the Fourth Turning is a great book too anyhow uh, I just got home from long day work anyhow that, real, that house for sale right down the street is still on the market folks the, the real estate market has definitely cooled off price reductions I'm seeing in my, my area. Um, that's it. Please give this a thumbs up. I thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, check if you have. Uh, check if you've been unsubscribed. Sometimes it happens with YouTube. Um, and hit the bell notification um, for, for future videos. 
Um, really appreciate it. Thank you once again for watching. Um, share it with your friends and family um, and have a great evening. Say hi to somebody. Be nice. Wave. Send somebody a text. Uh, people are struggling out there and it's uh, not being doom and gloom, being realistic. It's going to get worse. So stay strong.